Hey guys, welcome to your eighth iOS application tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple table view. So we'll go single view application. I'll name it table view and we shall create. First thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to main storyboard. We'll go down in our object library and grab this table view. We'll set it up so it's a little shorter uh, than our status bar so it shows up. And then in our outlets, uh, have your table view selected. We'll go to our file inspector and to the six tab. We have two outlets already there, data source and delegate. And we want to set our table views data source and delegate to view controller, which is down here. So we'll drag both of these and that should do it for our storyboard. Next, let's head over to view controller and start typing some code. First thing we need to do is add UI table view data source and UI table view delegate. And those are just two protocols that our class needs to conform to in order to use table view. Next, we're just gonna say at property copy non-atomic and we'll get an NS array and we'll say Greek letters because I want it to be a pretty long list and next we'll head over to our M. First thing we want to do is we want to make our array so here we'll say self dot Greek letters equals at and this is going to be a pretty long list so I'll probably skip to the end right here All right, so I have my list done with uh, all my letters. Let's move this back up if we can. Oh no, all right. I'll add a few more spaces. There we go. So it's a little more orderly. Yeah, that's better. All right, next we'll make a few methods before we run it. First thing we wanna do is uh, we wanna basically set our number of rows. So we'll say NS integer table view and then it says number of rows in section. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Thank you autocomplete. All we're going to do is return self dot uh, Greek letters count. And basically this method it's saying uh, we want to return an integer and its table view and what we want is we want to find out the number of rows in a section. And we only have one section in our table view at the moment. So we just want to find out the number of rows for that section. And it's going to be one row for each of our letters. Next, we are going to write UI, whoops, UI table view cell. Give it asterisk because we want an object, table view and then it says cells for row at index path. Sorry if it's going really fast, but my autocomplete knows me well. So it's what it's gonna do is it's gonna make it's gonna make a cell, which is uh, each of the rows has a cell and it's gonna fill it with information. So let's do that right now. NS string simple identifier equals simple identifier and this is just so we have a key for our cells all right so we want a UI table view cell because we want to make an object we'll call it cell make it easy and we're gonna say table view DQ reusable cell with identifier and we'll say simple identifier because we just made that and what this is gonna do is uh, basically when you make a table view uh, if it's really big like consider your iTunes library when it's on your phone it's a it's a table view and it's huge so and to avoid overhead of all that memory and keeping track of every single cell it keeps track of the ones on screen and one nearest uh, the screen so for ones that are far away from the screen it'll DQ it and then it'll give the cell that's closer uh, it'll give it that room just so we don't uh, use up all our memory just uh, making a table. And next we're going to write if cell equals nil 
because cell won't always be full. Like when we're initializing it, it's going to be completely empty. Whoops, you got to compare it. Two equals to compare. All right. Oh no, give me, come on. Give me that. There we go. I'm too lazy. All right, cell equals UI table view cell alloc. And then we're going to init with style right here, init with style, UI table view cell style, and identifier. So our cell style is going to be UI table view cell style default. And then our identifier, same thing, simple identifier. And we'll get back to what this is later. This identifier is just identifying our cells. Uh, don't worry about too much right now. If you really want to know, you can look it up. Next, we're just going to say cell.textlabel.text equals self dot Greek letters index path dot row. And this is just assigning a Greek letter to each row. And it goes through the array and assigns the first one to the first row, second one, second row, so on and so forth. And then we say return cell. Now that it's been initialized, we're giving it back and letting the table do with it what it will. So let's give this a run. All right, so we have our screen and we have our letters. And if you notice, it doesn't go all the way down and that's because I'm on the 3.5 inch. And right now my table's outfitted to like fit on the four inch screen. So let's just switch, make it look nicer. Here we go, all the way from alpha to omega. There we go, right at the bottom. So, now that we have all these, oh, I can see uh, my main storyboard must be a little off. Let me, let's see. Yeah, that was my fault. Let's try and make this a little shorter. All right, sorry, just a little OCD there. Now it should, perfect, all the way down, all the way up, looks good. So, let's add, an image make our I'm gonna bring an image from the outside and let's add it to our rows so they look a little nicer and right now we're just gonna add the same one to each but if you want to specify you can specify it's just it's really up to you so I'm gonna add the image first to an image whoops image named at banana copy dot. Uh, I don't even need to do PNG, it knows, but that's just for helping out the compiler. And we'll say cell dot image view dot image equals image. All right, actually, I'm going to change this so you could see the difference. This is the method image, this is our actual image variable. And once we do that, on the side of every single one of our rows, there should be a nice little banana dude. There we go. Banana man loves his Greek letters. All right, next we're gonna add some detail. So we're gonna go below cell label.txt and we're gonna say if index path dot row, which you now know is um, index path is just like the row and section and so it contains row, so we get the row from the index path, which is, this would be row 0, 1, 2, and so on. So if it's less than, I think there's 24 letters in the Greek alphabet, so we'll say less than 12, or 13 actually, so we could get the 12th one in there. Uh, we will say cell text label text equals um, first 12 else cell.detail.text equals last 12. And so this won't show up just yet. Um, I'll run it just to prove it, I guess. It's not showing anything yet, and that's because of our init with style. So this is where we're going back to our cell style. We want to init the cell with UI table view cell style and we'll change the style to subtitle and there's four different styles including default see how we got first 12 last 12 alright 
I think there might be less than tw 24, but whatever. So we have subtitle, which you just saw, and we have value 1, and that's going to be on the right, right here. And then value 2, which actually takes away our image to give it a little different list. So you can see your list, um, depending on what you, you want your list to look like, that's how you'll decide how to initialize your cells. And I'm going to do value 1 because I like having the detail on the right. Now, let's do some indentation. And here we go outside. NS integer table view indentation level for row at index path. It's already there for us. And we are just going to say return. Well, actually, we'll do an if statement. If index path dot row is less than 12 return 0. Whoops. Else return 2 or 3. Yeah, 3 is fine. And so you'll see what this does in a sec. So I'll just play it. The first 11 are cool and not indented because I returned 0. And these are indented 3. So you can tool around with it a bit to see how much you want to indent but I'll stick with two. I kind of like that. It's a little less. Yeah, that's, that's nice. So, now that we've done that, we are going to add a little something about selection. We're going to add this just before, or just after this, actually. We're going to say NS index path we're going to give it asterisk because we're returning object. Table view. Actually, did that give me? Yeah. All right. We're going to say will select row at index path. And that's if someone's going to select it. And you could decide whether you want them to or not. So I'm going to say if index path dot row equals zero, which is the very first row, we're going to say return nil. We don't want them to be able to select that. Else return index path because if it's not the first one we'll let them select it so we'll see how that works and you see I could click but it won't select and everything else I can select now we're gonna add a little output for when we do select something just so you could uh, find out how to do that we're gonna write void table view, uh, see how we have all these, and we're going to find did select row at index path, which is right here, or there we go, did select row at index path. And we're just going to write a few things first, ns string row value equals self dot Greek letters index path dot row. And that just gives a, a string value for the row, which will be the actual Greek letter. It won't be a number. So ns string message equals ns string alloc. There we can say init with format. All right, I'll write this. There we go. Init with format. We're just going to have a string. We're going to say at you selected percent at whoops percent at exclamation point comma and now that's where we put our row value so it'll tell us what row we selected and before we can it'll actually work we say ui alert view alert equals ui alert view alloc and then in it with title Oops, let's go back to our title. Our title's going to be row selected, exclamation point. Message, just put message. Delegate, we'll put nil. Cancel button title is yes, I did, or hell yeah. And then other button titles, nil, and we'll have that last already nil. So that will work good. And now we just need to show our alert. Alert show. And then 
table, let's scroll down a bit, table view, deselect, row at index path, index path, animated, yes. Basically just unselects, so let's run it. Can't choose the first row still because of this method right here. I choose beta, it says row selected, you selected beta, hell yeah, or epsilon. So that's pretty cool. You could dismiss it. Basically the cancel button title is what you want to dismiss. And it looks pretty cool. So uh, I, if you haven't noticed, my little image is actually a little too big for my row. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the font size and the row height. So let's go back to our cell for row at index path. And we're going to change the code a little. So we're going to go to cell dot text label dot font equals, we'll just make it bold and a little bigger, UI font, bold system font 50. And this is going to be way too big for our current rows. Well, not way too big. It'll probably fit. But we're going to write this um, just before our at end. We're going to say, CG float table view and then we're gonna say height for row at index path and all we're gonna say is return 70 there we go uh, we'll make it yeah 70 is fine so now we've got these huge uh, letters and we have our little banana dude actually fits in the row better so I'm going to change the font size to 30 just because I want my banana guy to fit, but I also want my details to fit. There we go, and now my details fit too. Perfect. So this was just a little intro to um, the things we can do with table views. I'll probably be making a few more different table view videos just for different customizations and whatnot. So look for those in the near future. Thanks for watching.